Hey everybody, it's Party Elite, welcoming you back to another episode of our adventures in Port Royal 4. Once again, a massive thanks to the folks over at Calypso for sponsoring this miniseries. And as always, folks, if you're interested in seeing this Let's Play continue beyond that miniseries, please don't hesitate to let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. If you're intrigued by this game and are curious for more information or perhaps interested in picking it up, you can check out the link in the description down below. It'll also be in the pinned comment down below. You can pick it up and learn more about the game over there. It is already out on PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4, with a Nintendo Switch release planned in early 2021, and this is, of course, the PC version that I'm playing. With all that said, let's go ahead and do a very quick recap as to the current circumstances before we continue on to push forth in our grand venture to become the dominant force in rum around these parts. War has broken out, I suppose is the first thing to touch on. Uh, Spain and England have gone to war, and of course that war will impact us as well. We have to be very careful about going through the waters and perhaps being engaged by Spanish um, fleets, by Spanish uh, war vessels in particular, because even though we're just a trade vessel, and even though we are able to trade with Spanish towns, because again we're playing as the merchant class, uh, that doesn't mean that Spanish warships won't intercept us, attack us, and try to plunder some of our goods when we're traveling around with goods. So chances are we're going to avoid trade with Spain in the uh, foreseeable future until this war comes to an end, and instead we might turn our attention to uh, the, the, the Isles up over here with the Netherlands, or perhaps even France over here, and just continue making our, our, uh, our wealth Far, far away from this war. As much as I'd like to get engaged in some battles, we currently don't have the ships necessary for that, but we are likely to get engaged in the next episode or so, I imagine. Uh, maybe if not in this war against the uh, Spanish, then against somebody else, or in some good old-fashioned piracy as we continue to get more and more aggressive. Now, on the topic of getting more aggressive, it's important for us to touch on what's gone on at Port Royal, because a little bit of... Uh, a well, a little bit of aggressive business has been happening uh, right here at Port Royal. Again, we are its administrator. It is our hometown, and we are trying to dominate the rum industry, which means we need sugar and wood. And if we have full control over that entire ecosystem and own all the businesses involved in producing rum, uh, then we can feel uh, pretty confident in our, you know, the setup of this monopoly, as it were. You can see up over here we have our sugar cultivations, and we also have our first rum distillery that we established last session. We did manage to get the concessions necessary for that from our viceroy. And again, we can, we can seek out other products as well. In fact, I saw a suggestion in the comments about, uh, you know, coffee goes well with rum, and uh, that, that, is a, that is a fun point. We don't need concessions for coffee, which is good, but we do need to find places that uh, have the suitable climate. So, you know, coffee can only be produced in certain spots. But back to the topic of uh, aggressive business. So, we've got our sugar cultivations, we've got our rum distillery. What that means is at Port Royal, we can see under the production tab, rum is finally being produced. Of course, it has to consume, as I mentioned, sugar and wood to do so. But beyond that, and I believe we touched on this at the end of the last session as well, our sugar production is so efficient and is so plentiful that the town's own local business has stopped functioning. Maybe it's because they realize they can't stand up against the, uh, the massive uh, monopoly that is to come from, uh, <laughs> from our uh, administrative position. Whatever it might be, the town's business has essentially shut down because we've flood the market with our own sugar. This means when people are coming through to pick up sugar, they'll be picking up our sugar. When the town it needs to buy sugar, they'll be buying our sugar. Now, to get involved in a lot of those um, opportunities, we have to actually establish a warehouse so that we can go ahead and trade between our warehouse and the town itself. We can automatically sell goods that we produce at our businesses uh, to the town, depending on prices and things like that. So it becomes another source of income. That might be something we want to look into in the relatively near future. I don't know about today, because establishing a warehouse there's a cost associated, and it is a daily cost of 1,000 uh, cash. So, you know, a bit of an investment, maybe a bit of a risk, a little too early to maybe go that route. But it is an option. Uh, the other thing to discuss with regards to aggressive business opportunities is that um, we're actually able to buy local businesses. 
We have to pay a hefty sum when we want to, but I just want to point out that this sum was significantly higher. I didn't I didn't check it while uh, uh, while recording, but this this sum would have been significantly higher previously when it wasn't a useless business. Again, the reason it's a useless business is because we've just outproduced them. They're not making any money through production, so they're trying to get rid of the business. Uh, it would have been, you know, easily twice, if not three times the cost of what we're seeing over here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where the topic of uh, rum production in other settlements comes in. You can see Isabella over here, for example, is producing rum. I believe it is producing rum at a pretty decent rate as well, in fact. So, um, if we want to dominate the entire region, it's very simple for us. Well, very simple. That's that's uh, it's oversimplifying it. It's a, it is a process. It's a part. It's a it's a core part of the game for us to go into Isabella, establish ourselves over here, become the administrator of the town, purchase some of those businesses potentially, and uh, or demolish some of those businesses if we so choose. Um, and I think we might want to start targeting Isabella for that. All we have to do to get the building permit is to improve our fame locally within the town. And to do that, we simply have to deliver to them goods that they need. Anything that is below two pips, anytime we deliver those goods, uh, they like us more for it. And over time, again, that can translate into a building permit. And beyond that, once we have a building permit, we can establish our own businesses here, like our own rum distilleries, if we so choose. And after that, we can actually go ahead and apply for the... Um, the rights to administer the town itself. Uh, that is after we have 500 of our own workers working there. So it is a bit of a process, uh, but it is again in in keeping with our intentions, obviously, right? Uh, but before we before we go that far ahead of ourselves, maybe we should take a look back at the shipyard situation over here. Our population is at 1963. We do have that small church, which means we can have more than 2,000 citizens. But our residential space is largely used up. We need to get some more jobs going, though. So the first order of business, I think, again, is going to be to further increase our rum production capabilities over here. Uh, for which, whoops, didn't mean to click on the church there. Uh, for which we'll need to, again, get some more money, establish that rum distillery, a second one. That'll provide 40 jobs, if I'm not mistaken, right? One rum distillery. No, one provides 20 jobs. One sugar cultivation provides 40 jobs. So maybe we get down, oh my god, how much more can we flood the market? A lot. A lot is the answer to that question. Um, maybe in the interest of getting to that 3,000 population mark, we'll put down another sugar, sugar cultivation, uh, which will cost us how much? 19k. So we're almost there. And beyond that as well, we should keep an eye out for this risk of plague. We might want to get a hospital or something down soon as well. And that will cost us, oh wow. Almost 50,000. Money needs to be made. A lucrative trade route has been shut because of the sugar export down to Spain being, you know, <laughs> stopped by war. So let's go ahead and see where we might be able to sell that sugar elsewhere. Uh, it might not be a terrible idea for us to actually set up a trade route for this. We can find a couple of spots that uh, are nearby and in need of sugar. Since sugar is one of the basic goods, we can rest assured that almost every place is going to need it to at least some degree. So if we set up a, uh, an appropriate um, set of destinations, we'll almost always be making money. The thing to be wary of, of course, is places that are getting their sugar from a different, uh, you know, trade route potentially. Not sure actually where Puerto Padre is getting its sugar from. Some long haul merchant must have brought it over from somewhere. But fair enough. Let's go ahead and establish a trade route then for the Althea and uh, get rid of the coffee tobacco to England route. I don't need this anymore. Delete that one. Let's go ahead and create a new one. And this should help automate the pro whoops. This should help automate the process a little bit uh, as we try to rack up some cash before we have to go into sort of manual mode again. The idea being at Port Royal, we're going to go ahead and buy. Uh, the maximum I'm willing to pay is what was it? Forty-eight, I believe, is our. Is our price right now on sugar? Yeah, 48. That is the most I'm willing to pay. So let's go ahead and... Oops. Apologies. Go ahead and hit up the trade route. Make sure the price is set to 48. So we're basically always buying. I could even set this to whatever. 
Uh, and then what we can do is we can take a look at what's in demand here, what might be in demand, and we can make sure to pick it up on our way back. So we know previously metalware has been in demand over here. Um, we can also pick up... Actually, no, we're not going to be headed to uh, the, the spot that manufactures luxury items. Let's try and look at some more baseline needs, right? Some more basic necessities. Go ahead and fruit, wood, metalware, fair enough, tobacco, and coffee. Let's go for that. Let's go for that. So, from here over to... We're not going here because, again, they already have sugar. Uh, up to Portuga and Isabella to sell our sugar and pick up coffee en route. Over to Baracoa. Sell some more sugar. Maybe pick up some coffee and tobacco. Over to Puerto Padre. Sell some more sugar. Pick up some coffee and tobacco. Down to Santiago. Sell whatever we're carrying, you know, how, depending on what's worth it. Pick up some more tobacco and then back to Port Real where we should be able to sell all that good stuff. So, um, over at Tortuga, we're trying to sell as long as the price is above. Let's see, we're buying it at 48. So let's say as long as we're making, sure, 80, let's say. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll sell it off over here. And Tortuga has what? It's got coffee and wood, I wonder, because wood is a basic need. Almost guaranteed to make sales of it. Yeah, let, let's let's uh, go against <laughs> our better judgment here uh, for the sake of experimentation. Coffee, I don't want to buy it at whatever price. Uh, let's go ahead and set the maximum to 144. Is that reasonable? Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Where are you? What are you priced at right now? 129. Hmm. How quickly does that price change, I wonder? Sure. I think I'm comfortable with uh, with the game's default suggestion over there. The Tortuga, we go ahead and buy coffee for a maximum of 144. I'm comfortable with that. Uh, so we want to make sure at Port Royal we are selling it. Yeah. Again, we want to we want to balance manage our our, our our numbers here a little bit at least, right? Uh, so that's Tortuga taken care of. Over to Isabella, where again we are going to sell our sugar. The hopes of making at least 80 off of it. Again, we can we can target different prices at different regions. I don't think we're likely to make 100 off of sugar here, where there is sugar also available from uh, uh, Porto Prince, right? I don't think that'll be a viable option for us. Let's go ahead and pick up some coffee over here as well. Uh, again, that's the most I'm willing to pay for it. Sure enough, at Baracoa, they also produce coffee, which we'll be picking up. Picking up. Sugar needs to be dropped off over here. Again, same price. Uh, we can pick up tobacco here as well. I'm using this to keep a track of the prices I'm uh, I'm setting. I, I don't want to use automatic mode. You absolutely can. If, you know, if you're so inclined, if you don't want to do this kind of number jostling, you absolutely can. I this says a lot about me, I'm sure. I, I kind of like the number jostling. I like going in and being like, oh, you know, let's nudge this up, nudge this down. Uh, I love that stuff, and that's why I I, I enjoy <laughs> this game uh, so much. Um, so uh, personally, I'm, I'm a big fan of of that kind of stuff. So. Uh, hopefully we can, you know, kind of like find the perfect numbers. Uh, and I really hope that, you know, nearly doubling our money on sugar will, will go a long way for us. Now over here at Puerto Padre, we are all the way up over here, right? Corn. I guess I could pick up some corn to sell down at Port Royal. I, I doubt we'll even have the room for it is the other thing as well. Just because we are looking to buy stuff doesn't mean we'll be able to fit it on our small ship over here, right? Um, we've already picked up enough coffee and tobacco by now is my assumption let's go ahead down to santiago our last stop where we will pick up rather sorry we will drop off what is left of the um sugar as long as it's still again if we set it to whatever we'll just dump everything i don't want to do that i don't want to do that so let's go ahead and set the same price but let's also pick up some of the uh tools over here uh, at max 204 and at port royal I don't know if that's if I'm okay with that. That's such a marginal profit from 204 to 220. Why don't we set it to? I say 300 might be a reasonable price. I say 300 might be a reasonable price. Let's find out, right? Metalware, or sorry, yeah, metalware. Yeah, look at that, 313 with one pip. 
So that should work out for us. Let's go ahead and we've, we've activated the route already. I've already assigned it. Uh, let's go ahead and hit play and see how that does for us. Uh, we'll keep a track of the goods that are being picked up and all that jazz as well, just to make sure uh, things are, you know, working optimally. I'm actually surprised we only picked up 149 sugar. Did we really? Yeah, no, price is still at 48. Interesting. Not a problem. Uh, what I can easily do is go ahead, edit the route, and change that purchase price to a 49. I've never seen it drop below, or sorry, I've never seen it go higher than 48, so I think I think that'll be okay. I think that'll be okay. We also have two captains available. We've got uh, uh, Salome Adams and, or that's not Salem, that's Salome, right? Adams and then uh, Tyson Williams over here. Hmm. I wonder, I, I think I can, I think I'm going to hold off. I think I was a little premature in my uh, purchasing of the the captain's um, the 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 captain's a uh, concession that uh, uh, kind of regretting that decision a little bit, but it's not the end of the world. Go ahead and pick up the pace over here and see if we can make some money over here. Fourteen eight. I saw the number for a second there. Let's use that as our benchmark, I guess. All right, good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. This is a, you know, there's actual rotation of goods, which is important. We're maintaining our uh, price integrity, if you will, and uh, and still making sales. I want to see if we offload all of the sugar down here or not. Oh, you know what? I think the reason why we didn't pick up more sugar is because the um, the AI is, is, is picking up based on demand. Oh, look at that. Only nine units of sugar left. That's not bad. That's not bad. And let's see how much we make on this round trip. Wow! Weren't we just at, like, 19 or something moments ago? Uh, maybe I'm misremembering. You know what the easiest way to check is? Um, root. Or, no, no, no. I don't want to see that. I want to see where where, where are you? Over here? Yeah, we made we made some good money. <laughs> so far already. That's, you know, that's... All right. <laughs> it feels good. It feels good establishing something like that. And again, right, we're not picking up maximum sugar. You can see some of the coffee has been left over uh, because we didn't get to sell it at the ideal price. So this should really help us accumulate wealth. We're at 19k, let's say, is our starting wealth at the beginning of this uh, round over here. Now, these guys want meat, but I can't meet those expectations without going into potentially dangerous territory over with the uh, over in Spanish territory. So I'm going to I'm going to avoid that for now. Good stuff, good stuff. Up we get over here. All right, another new captain has become available. Edgar Roberts. Also, no uh, no stats. This is all war-based. I should have gone with the ones that had smuggling. My my hesitation will be the end of me. And you can see we didn't pick up any metal or any tool, uh, metal works or whatever it was, um, because the, the the prices didn't line up. Did that say 20... Was that, was that a 26 for a flash there? Didn't catch it. Alright, one one more round of me investigating how this goes, and then I'll make some tweaks to it, I think. 21 is where we began. Look at that. Look at that. Again, Isabella needs sugar, right, for its rum production and everything, so it's probably buying sugar and using it up relatively quickly. And by limiting that sale price... By limiting that sale price, we are... Uh, always keeping them wanting it's not like we're just dumping it all and they have all the sugar they could need and then the next time i come around they haven't used it up yet right we, we have that's why you have to control uh that trickling of uh of goods it's like diamonds diamonds aren't rare diamonds are made artificially scarce and that's what we're doing here it's dirt it's 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 dirty business practices um oh look at look at the look at the lighting like this oh my god Look at that. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. All right, the reason why I paused here is because we're at 30k, which means we are able to purchase at least something. I do wonder if I shouldn't save up and get the hospital done first, I'll be honest. Risk of plague is up at 63%. That is quite bad. That is a problem. That is a serious problem. Let's let's save up and get that church down first, and we can look at... Um, we can look at uh, jobs shortly afterwards. Supply of commodities is dropping now because, again, now that we're not doing a manual ride of, of picking up the things we need over here, it's starting to uh, affect us a little bit. 
I could take a look and see. Um, corn. Let's go ahead for, for corn. And what else? Corn, metal, maybe. This stuff further down is less necessary. So sure, corn, maybe some fruits. There's corn, fruits available up over here, and corn is available over here. We should be able to pick some up. Uh, hopefully that won't make this profitable route into a problem instead. From profit to problem, I hope not. Um, Oh man, just even even talking and, and describing this whole like, oh yeah, it's artificial scarcity, and that's why it's like, well, that's why we're able to keep the prices at a certain point. I, lo I like that kind of stuff gets me super excited. I, like I love that kind of stuff. Um, it's just so, it's it's not the kind of stuff that get, as far as I know, that that gets a video game made out of it very often. You know, uh, that kind of creative, um, uh, creative. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it. Uh, the, the emphasis on trade and things like that. Um, Alright, so we're picking up fruit over here, and... Is that really how much I'm willing to pay? Let me see. Let me see. They have plenty of fruit. I would imagine the price 64. I wish I could preview how much it would drop. I guess that's why you have to go and scout with your, with your convoys and stuff. 64. Maybe the most I'm willing to pay is like... Let's see. What what do we have right now? A Tortuga. We're willing to pay seventy two. Let's 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 shift that down to seventy. And over at Isabella, we'll go ahead and buy at seventy as well. Why pay more elsewhere? Uh, and we should then go ahead over to Baracoa, where we can sell some of it. Sure, seventy eight. Fair enough. Hoping to have picked up enough. And then as we head up to Puerto Padre, let's just pick up corn over here. For the maximum of 50. Let's see if that works for us. And down to Santiago, where we can pick up even more corn. And again, a maximum of 50, yep. And then down at Port Royal, we will sell at a minimum of 62. Put this up to 80. Keep that at 52, sure. Let's see how that works out for us. Again, slight changes can absolutely throw an entire trade route out. Uh, like, out of commission, out of... It's... Oh, no! So, here's the trouble with trade routes. We are a an open target. Uh, unless we have um, military vessels in this convoy, when an engagement happens, there's nothing we can do. A sea battle happens, and... As you can see, stuff got plundered. Um, it's not the end of the world for us. Fortunately, sugar is so plentiful for us, but it could have been a far more valuable resource that got plundered. That is the danger of a trade route. If I was in control myself, I could have absolutely used the uh, the wind directions and, and pulled away and gotten away from these military vessels. In fact, like, I, I think we might be safe. Let's keep an eye on the circumstances over here. Look at that. That's an escort vessel for that merchant ship, I imagine. The merchant from Gibraltar. Trying to get up over here to, uh, to, um, uh, to, to do trade with, uh, with the Netherlands, I, I, I assume. All right, down to Isabella. We have picked up some fruit. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. I think we're still going to be profitable. Picked up a lot of fruit over here, actually. Hopefully we can dump it en route. Over to Baracoa. All these English military vessels protecting us. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Over we go to Puerto Padre now. I gotta remember that... It's so the game is so beautiful. I like zooming in to look at everything like closer. The problem is that when you're zoomed in, time moves more slowly, which is absolutely essential, mechanically speaking, the right call. But it's uh, problematic when I'm just like, oh, I want to see the pretty things, but I also don't want to slow things down. Okay, making making okay money, making okay money. Hopefully, there's a, there's a big dump over here. Oh wow, there we go. We picked up a lot of um, metalworks and whatnot. Forty six k. We need forty seven for the um. Hospital, right? So close. One more run, maybe. One more run ought to do it. And this is where, again, what we'll, what we'll likely look to do is... Um, establish that church. Establish another business. Get us to that point. And, and, and I do want to point out... I think I mentioned this last session. War between England and Spain ended today. Excellent. Now, I would change my... My route to... 
return down south over here to sell sugar at exorbitant rates. But right now, we have time working for us. This is a very short route. We're constantly making money off of it. I feel like this is... I think we're going to stick with this for now. Um, now, where was I? Where was I? Oh, right, right, right. So I just want to point out that I am able to purchase ships from Santo Domingo. There is a large shipyard over here. And we are able to get some sloops. There is a couple of brigs as well. I, d I don't need anything too uh, large or warlike. Uh, but if we feel desperate, I, I might even pick up... Uh, might even pick up a uh, another ship from Santo Domingo. But for now, we're definitely able to establish our hospital. There we go. Enough of a buffer over here to make me comfortable. Because, again, I just want to check here. What's the 69% chance of plague? That is not, not a case where that number is nice. Go ahead and get hospital. Again, it, it is some employment. Just five workers. Not like having an entire, you know, um, sugar cultivation. But, uh, but it is something. And, obviously, it is helping our people stay alive. Put you down over here. Take care of all the residential spaces over here. That's one, two, three, four, five, six... Up over here, one, two, three, four, five. Hmm. I think over here is the ideal spot. Pop you down over here. It'll take some time to build, of course. All the raw materials are here, so it's just a matter of time. Hospital will be done, and that should help reduce the risk of plague. Um, 51 job seekers, eh? Alright. Yeah, I'm feeling feeling pretty good. I mean, if money becomes that steady with this uh, with this route, I might just buy another ship from Santo Domingo. There's a, there's a certain joy doing it all ourselves, like I've mentioned before. But uh, in the interest of ace, I suppose, right? What's the viceroy the crown, have for us? Have task for you. Routes have been in short supply for a long time, while France has enough in stock. He's asking me to bring 681 fruits by December 10. Okay, where in France can we get sugar? Oh, uh, sugar, fruit, sorry. Florida Keys. It has to be, for the purposes of this mission, it has to be from France. I cannot get it from uh, Mosquito over here. Okay, we can go ahead to Florida Keys. Port St. Joe. All right, how, how, how much can we sell sugar for here? Ooh. All right, I'm liking these numbers. 100, 100... A hundred. What about up over here? Alright. Okay. Okay. What about over here? Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and create a new route then. See, the only downside is... What could we get? We get fruit, vegetables, coal, luxury items. Okay, there's enough stuff that we can pick up to... Uh, to, to bring back to Port Royal as well. Very well. Let's go to our trade routes. Uh, let's create... Let's rename this. Let's rename this the... Uh, uh, Port Royal... English Sugar. I wish I could have more characters. English Sugar. There we go. Just to, 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 to remind me that this is us trading sugar for other stuff with uh, English towns specifically. We're going to create a new route. Uh... Edit. What are we doing over here? We're going to start at Port Royal, where we will purchase sugar. Most willing to pay is yes, 49. We will also over here sell vegetables, and we will sell fruit at these minimum prices. Also, some hemp, sure. 78. Okay, cool. Pick up sugar over here. Then we're going to go ahead and, on our way over, sell some. Minimum of 100. Because we know they're good prices further down, downwind, I guess. So sell the sugar over here. Over to Puerto Padre. Sell the sugar over here. A minimum of 100. Continue onwards. Up to the Florida Keys. Sell over here again. Minimum of 100. Then use the wind to take us... Oh, sorry. I need to remember at Florida Keys, I need to purchase fruit. Whatever price. Just stock up on it, because we're trying to accomplish this mission as well. Uh, then all the way up to Port Orange. Sell 
minimum of 100 and buy fruit at whatever price. So the wind has been with us all this way. To come back down, unfortunately, we'll be going against the wind, though. Unless. Unless. We go against the wind. Ah. Now, see, I was hoping that the wind over here would bring us around, but no. We'll, we'll be against the wind all the way through. 22.7 days. This is a long trip. Maybe we dump um, you. Yeah, 15 days is a good average uh, length, I find. We'll be closer to 11.9 because of our ship's uh, draft. Um, ah, so with that logic, I guess it's fine. All right, fine. Let's, let's try it. Let's try it out. We can always change our minds. We can always change our minds, right? Sell at minimum of 100. Cool. And then back at Port Royal, we are dumping all the fruit. What I should do is, on the way back at Puerto Padre. Yeah, sure. Let's add an another spot over here. Maybe even change... Yeah, we'd rather take the direct route, right? If we had if we had a ship with a with a deeper draft, then we'd want to avoid this shallow area. But because we don't, we're fine taking a straight route. Cool. Uh, again, it's a it's a it's the balance between quantity and uh, and 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 draft depth and all that kind of stuff that comes into play. So on on the way back at Puerto Padre, we will sell some of the fruit. Let 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 uh, the AI decide. Let our let our vessels decide. But we'll also go ahead and pick up some tobacco. We're here, so why not? Tobacco and coffee. Set that maximum price. Over at Baracoa next. Go ahead and sell... Yep. Sell the sugar again as well, if necessary, if we can. Why not? Could have actually done the same at uh, Puerto Padre as well. If we can, why not? And then back down to... Santiago, over here, sell that sugar, sell the fruit, buy some corn, maybe some rope, and then, oh actually, you know what, not just that, but also the, rather let's swap that out for you. That was making us a lot of money, I think. This is a riskier route. This is certainly a riskier route. But, let's try it. We're low on money, actually. We're low on money. This could be a risky time to take this uh, opportunity. Dump some money, or dump some uh, sugar over here. I might just take charge for a little bit. Dump some fruit over here. Tobacco is probably plentiful over here. Yeah. Um... Head down over here. Yeah, let's go over here. The, the reason why I'm doing this is because our uh, our finances are a little tight. I don't know if we'll be able to pick up pick up as much as we need to be profitable in this entire trip. Let's try and dump some stuff over here. Coffee and tobacco might make us a pretty penny, and then we can resume that route. Uh, coffee, coffee, coffee. There you are. Let's dump it all. Let's dump it all. And tobacco as well. Here. Activate the route. And let's see if that works out for us. This could be... This is risky. It's risky for sure. But fortunately, sugar is dirt cheap for us. We can pick up a bunch of it. At, at Well, I shouldn't say at no cost. Because eventually it will be at no cost when we establish our warehouses and stuff. And we should be... Dumping sugar, you know what, that minimum of 100 might be. There we go. Take it back. I was saying nothing. Ignore me. <laughs> if you won't buy it, then the uh, the town further down will. Up over here. Picked up a bunch of fruit. Over here, let's see if we're able to maintain. Yeah, that 100 maybe isn't working so well for us all the way up over here. Too bad. That was the uh, that was the driving force of that pricing decision. Hopefully, we can sell these fruits at a, at a decent price because otherwise, we're not buying anything for a while. Look at that long trip of nothingness. That long trip of absolutely nothing. Nothing on the fruits there. All right, I might need to manually do this. Got to recover from this debt situation. Debt means death. 
um, some food over here. The price goes too far down. There we go. And some sugar as well. Again, I'm in control, so I can do what I want. This is where uh, this is where manual is not a bad idea. Again, this is a bit of a riskier play. Oh, there we go. All we have to do is get down here. But you can see how much the price drops, and that's what uh, the AI has its own kind of what's going on in its head as to what it deems valuable or, or correct or appropriate. Which I don't know if I entirely wholeheartedly agree with. 183, we can pick up... Let's pick up 20. Try and sell that. We can pick up some tobacco as well. Pick up 40 units of you. We can try and sell that down at Port Royal and then allow the automatic route to take over again. I think we'll be good at that point. Um, so, we got tobacco. Where are you? There you are. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. 40 was too much. This was not bad, though. Cool. We're back on this route. Headed to Baracoa first. Could have picked up sugar. Would have been a good idea. That's why it's like I wish they would uh, start from the beginning, from the first step. Or give you an option to choose how to start. There we go. A lot of sugar. Alright. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. We got a bit of a runway. Wait with the Spaniards there. Okay, we're okay. Wait. Oh, I see. You're completing the uh, the route first. It picks up. It picks it up where we left it off. Not so ideal. Not so ideal for our uh, circumstances because money is constantly dropping. Right, all the maintenance fees and stuff that we're paying. Uh, all those costs are are eating away at our. Financial circumstances. Come on, baby. Sell that sugar. No? Alright. Let's sell it up over here. There we go. Good stuff. Florida Keys. End of the seventh. I've never known how to say this. Uh, Hugh, Hugh, no, Hugh War? I don't know. Uh, the Treaty of Flay settles the seventh such and such war. <laughs> the religious conflicts between Catholics and Protestants, which has been fought out on a local level since 1579 is based on the dissatisfaction of French Catholics with the concessions made to Protestants in earlier conflicts. The peace treaty reaffirms the <laughs> Bergerac peace, which ended the Sixth Huguenot War in 1577. The towns of La Ferre and Cahors, which were taken during the conflict, must be handed over to the other side within six years. You know what? I don't know the details here. Oh, I'm, uh... Something for me to look into. Interesting. This is why I love having, like, history stuff open. There's so much history. Uh, it's difficult to know it all unless it's your, you know, even if it's your area of study. It's, it's difficult to know it all. I like leaving myself open to uh, learning stuff while I'm playing games. Maybe I need to accept a lower sale price on the sugar here. Let's, uh... Let's drop that down to 80. We're, even at 80, we are doubling our... Uh, are, well, nearly doubling, I should say, the the uh, the purchase price. I should not get too greedy. Greed will crush us. Over at Port Royal, the risk of plague continues to go up. What is that about? Hospital is here. Hmm. That's not ideal. Why do you continue to rise so aggressively? Overall satisfaction is 100%, so that's huge. We just need more jobs in the area, though. I really hope this becomes profitable. England needs your help. Running out of time at this point. We're not going to make it by by the 10th. It's going to be impossible. It's unfortunate. Let's let this round end, and then we'll go ahead and return to our uh, sugar to the English route. That was making some good money, and, and quickly, too. It's such a small... You know, round, literal, like, roundabout, I guess. Oh, this wasn't bad. This wasn't bad. See, dropping that to 80? All about finding that balance. Sign. There we go. That ought to do the trick. That'll accelerate our wealth gain, and then we can go ahead and get another sugar cultivation down. That'll provide the jobs. That'll attract the um, new citizens. That'll grow us past that 3K mark. And beyond that as well, Isabella... 
this selling of sugar over here has been helping our uh, our fame over here. Man, how come these guys have a low risk of plague and my risk of plague is going through the roof? What is this? What is this? Another hospital is required, I, I, I assume? Expensive. So now there is war with the Netherlands. Oh, well, that's not good. That's a lot closer to home. I'm, I'm glad we've abandoned that mission. But that makes these waters very dangerous for us. That makes these waters very dangerous for us. Ah, let's keep an eye on the circumstances here. But did the war already end? What can I do for? Now we're we're still very much at war with them. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, yeah, this this that the ending part of this hall always makes us a good bit of money. An elderly woman looks in the distance with a scared look. He told me something about an old vessel which he had discovered on a coast, and he intended to refloat it. But that's a long time ago, and he should have returned already. A quest over here we can take on. How do I feel financially? Like, do I have enough of a runway to go ahead and pick up this mission? Oh, we got over here. Lost some fruits, lost some sugar. Not ideal, but not the end of the world. Again, sugar is, is such a pre... Uh, such a low-cost product for us. These guys want pastries. We have pastries. We produce them right at home. Little opportunity for, uh, for some fame and whatnot. Go ahead and allow this to happen, and we'll go ahead and bring some up to Barakoa. 45. Yeah, I'll accept this task. Take control over here. Pick up 45. Bankrupting ourselves on pastries. And let's head straight up over here. Alright, we're being repaired right now. Come on, come on, come on. Head on up. But we're still... So when you when you have a trade route, the AI autom automatically takes care of repairs and things like that as well. Uh, but up over here, we should be able to make a lot of money from this. Usually these tasks indicate a profitable venture. Yes, there it is. Look at that. Mmm, beautiful. And it helps us with our, like, you know, growth of fame and all that as well. Uh, let's go ahead and dump sugar over here as well. I believe we'll be able to... Not at an ideal price. Let's go ahead and reactivate that route. 31k. Honestly, do we need to put down another hospital? It's still going up. Still going up. Why is that? I understand that there's a lot of spots that don't have... Healthcare. But it certainly isn't that bad. Now what we can do is we can actually put down a tavern, and that'll allow these residential areas to be a lot more efficient. Tavern is 38k, eh? Don't need a hospital if you've got a tavern, right? That's how that works. That's how that works. We're very close to being able to afford either. Not, not both, but either. <laughs> either or. A plague is rampant at Tortuga? Ooh. Good to know. Yikes. Okay. A plague is broken out in the town. This can this can happen when too many citizens do not live close to a hospital. A plague reduces the satisfaction of citizens and increases the consumption of some commodities, cloth and wood. Cloth is available right over here. I wonder if we take advantage of this opportunity. Uh, sorry, uh, I mean, I wonder if we don't try to help the unfortunate souls at Tortuga by bringing them at least cloth from down over here. Might not be a bad idea. See how this trip goes, and then we can take a look at cloth. It's been a long time since you visited me. It has been, my good Viceroy. In quite a while, hasn't it? Um, I'll come, I'll come, don't worry. What am I looking at? Tortuga cloth. They have none. Oh, that's a good bit of money to be made. Right, again, so be careful. A plague is rampant in Guadeloupe. You should deliver wooden cloth if you want to help. And there's... We need to refocus our attention on the economy, and thus you were able to improve your fame while facing... While we face difficulty sending cotton to Europe, Spain has large stocks. Ooh, that's not a bad idea either. This game, it really does, um... It really does, uh... Dangle that carrot often, doesn't it? Head down over here, pick up the cloth for this one trip, and then we can resume our old, uh... Our old journeys. 
over here, cloth, how expensive can you be? You only have one. That's pointless. That's pointless. I would much rather pick up... What? What can I buy here that I can also sell somewhere down the line? Average price is 48. Sure, you know what? Let's go... Oh, right. Got stuff. That's why I can't pick up more. Right. I could sell some of my sugar. I could try and sell some of my fruit, I suppose. Ooh, okay, that's not bad. Here, 60. That'll give us some room for some cloth. All right, there we go. I was just misreading that situation, my apologies. There we go, 60 cloth. And that should be a good bit of money made, and then we can resume this route, like I was saying. In we go. Cloth. Wow. Listen, I'm taking advantage of this situation. That is that is a lot more money we can make off of cloth. That is a lot more money we can make off of cloth. Sorry, I think I misspoke again. I mean, I am eager to help the needy people of Tortuga. We should bring them more cloth. Alright. Alright. Fine. Just a little bit this time around. No one else near here produces cloth, eh? That's unfortunate. These guys must have booming business right now, though. Plague just down the street. So much money to be made. Alright, where, 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 where can we get cloth from that is nearby? I don't want to go too far for it, because then by the time we arrive, it might already be too late, right? Might already be too late. We can also look at the situation over here at Guadalupe. Cloth is available where? Down at Cumana. Sell sugar to Caracas and Cumana. Bring cloth up to Guadalupe. Make our way down. Taking control over here for a moment. Go through these stormy waters. Take that risk on. A little bit of profit. Money's looking pretty good, actually. I could... You know what? I, I'd feel terrible if a plague broke out. We've hit that 2,000 mark. That's nice. Let's go ahead and establish another hospital. Ah, oh, man. Like, this one covers so many of them it just feels inefficient no matter where i put it down you know let's see a tavern is 38k we'll soon be able to afford both let's get the hospital down first before we start you know people start suffering i really need to plan this out housing the hospital goes up to two aisles out oh no looks like yeah one two okay but putting it up over here is kind of pointless putting it over here we can have all the housing around it. Or over here, then the housing can come down over here as well, because... No space up there. Here in the tavern over here, maybe? Yeah, sure. Okay. It's not going to have a huge impact, because it's just the one uh, residence, residential area. But let's go ahead and commission it. Eventually, more residential areas over here will be built up, and, and it'll help uh, with that. And then it's also providing some jobs, right? Two birds with one stone, so to speak. And then the tavern will be built up as well soon. At that point, uh, we should have a much bigger ooh, room for population. There's a castaway. Alright. Well, go ahead and pick you up. Picked up castaway. Trinidad by March 13th. You know... My geography of this area is not the best. Trinidad, Trinidad, Trinidad. Trinidad. Trinidad, there we go, yeah. I don't, I don't know, I, okay. It's not that bad either. I don't know why I went down south over here. I, I knew it was one of the islands, so that's... Yikes. <laughs> uh, down to Caracas. Oh, hold on, wait. When do I have to get in there by? March 13th. Buddy, you're putting me on a timeline? I saved your life. I saved your life. Head on down here. We, we've got some business to take care of. We've got other lives to save, remember? Uh, dump our sugar. So that's what I'm talking about. A little bit over here. Fruits. Sure. Some fruits over here as well. Done. Coffee. How about coffee? You guys want coffee? You guys want some coffee? Yes. Beautiful. Sure. Dump that. 
over to Cumana. Wish I brought some tobacco on our way down over here, but too late for regrets. Hopefully we can dump some sugar here, though. Price does drop, but again, it's still more than we uh, ate to buy it. Drop some coffee off over here as well. Not that much made there at all. And some fruits. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Good stuff. And with that money, we can go ahead and buy some cloth. How much of a risk am I willing to take here? Buy 20. I don't know how that's going to work out for me. Let's buy some wood as well. Because they'll need wood. Move on. Yeah, this is not ideal. Not ideal. Because I'd, ideally I'd be pinging these towns on the way over as well. Uh, I came all the way out of here to make a quick buck. This is this is how I get uh, paid. Let's see if this works out though. Okay, you know what? Not bad. Not bad. Back to Trinidad. Back to Trinidad. There we go. This is actually a great way for me to learn the uh, <laughs> the geography of, of, of the area. I know the broad strokes, but the, the specifics of uh, where certain cities are and things like that. Like, if you were to make me point it onto a map, I'd be like, I don't know, somewhere around here-ish. And... But it gets dropped off in time. There we go. The castaway goes ashore, and he is glad to finally have solid ground under his feet again. It does not take long until the mayor appears at your convoy to thank you for saving his son-in-law. It also gives you a building permission. Oh, wow. I am so glad that, um... <laughs> that cronyism exists in this world. Man. Honestly, I couldn't have asked for a better opportunity. These guys are already producing rum as well. You're kidding me. Where is your brewery? Carpenter, hemp plantations, coffee plantations, sawmill. They don't have any sugar. Uh, they don't produce sugar here. Tavern. Rope yard. Where is your... Where's your, uh, distillery here? I think I called it a brewery earlier, my apologies. Um, uh, oh, I can't see their names hovering like this. Tavern, residential, tavern, chapel, residential, market. Look at that as an option as well. There's the hospital back there. There it is, the rum distillery. 85k to buy this out. Okay. Something to think about. Again, we can drop that price. All we gotta do is flood that market repeatedly. It's not like we can just sell a bunch of um, rum once and then expect it to suddenly drop in price. No, it's it's like a you know it's like a real business. If a lot of competition comes in and and your product is not being sold at 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 the price you need it to be sold at, then you get rid of your business potentially, or you you know file for bankruptcy or whatever. It's it's wild to me that this kind of stuff exists. You know, it's just like. You can be so, um, <laughs> clever in, in, in ways that maybe aren't, uh, yeah, you know, it's not like, it's not like the tutorial says, by the way, do this, this will help. You just, you, you, you can like come up with it. And I love that kind of opportunity in, in, in games, that, uh, sandboxy nature of it all. All right, over we go. Arakoa. A little bit of money here. I'd like to see a nice big chunk of change. We didn't pick up any sugar on this run, which is, is history. ridiculous. That's our biggest. Well, actually, the biggest money maker on this route is probably the uh, the, the the tools, the metalworks, or whatever it's called. I take a look at the route. Actually, wow, look at that. This one also made us money. But this this is this is making us some good. Good money. England bans Catholics. I wonder if that was going to come up. The English Parliament passes a law that makes the practice of the Catholic religion punishable. The government fears that Catholics and especially Jesuits pose a serious danger to life and limb of the Queen. It is now considered treason against the Crown to leave the Church of England. In addition, severe financial penalties are imposed on recusancy, that is, refusing to accept the Anglican Church or not attending church regularly as well as the attendance of Catholic masses. Wondrous. 
wondrous. There we go. We picked up our sugar now for this run. Risk of plague is still on the way up. All right. Well, we're going to come through with some more jobs soon. I think we need more jobs before we need more housing because un until we have more jobs, people are not going to um, want to move here, right? We'll be aimlessly... Uh, kind of working kind of aimlessly if we do that. All right, over to Barrow Coat. Yeah, making some good change on this one. There we go. And I think the number we're trying to hit right now to get a... Sugar cultivation going is 19k. All right, so this run should do it. This run should do it. But again, you want to keep a bit of a runway, right? Because you have no money, you can't buy anything. You have no money, you can't buy anything. Now, if we establish a warehouse at Port Royal, we can um, build a warehouse with our sugar and then pick up our sugar at no cost and then sell that. And that obviously, you know, further amplifies our profits. That's my understanding of it, at least, is that... Um, nice. When you pick up the uh, the sugar, well, when your warehouse stores the sugar from your own business, it doesn't spend any money because it's your own sugar. Um, now over here, I wanted to get another cultivation down. Put it over here, one, two, three, four. The distillery can go up over here. Or I could do one, two, three, four, so the distillery could go across here. And the housing could go behind it. Because again, that will improve efficiency as well. Let's try that. 19k. Alright, let's put one down. That will again provide 40 jobs when it's done. Got all the resources needed to build, so in 10 days time it'll be done. Just... I, I don't think the price of sugar can go any lower. Francis Drake is awarded a knighthood. Last year he returned from the first circumnavigation of the world by an Englishman after 1,018 days. He is honored for his service and his loyalty to the English crown, and may call himself Sir from now on. In the same year, he received a coat of arms under the motto Auxilio Divino, 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 by divine aid, and Sic Parvis Magna. Thus great things come, wait, thus great things from small things come. I like that, Sic Parvis Magna. Hmm. I'm, I know I'm butchering the Latin, by the way. I'm... I'm not, it's not a language familiar to me, <laughs> is I guess the way to put it. All right, good bit of money being made over here, I think, still. Now we could take on some more quests, potentially, if any pop up in the area. No more plagues for us to uh, help soothe the pains of, not even among our neighboring nations over here. I'll bring some ceramics over here to Seville. Big... Uh, basically like lump of cash to be made. It's a far journey to go, I guess. What does Trinidad want? Meat. Ooh. There's opportunity there. Because meat is available. Oh, their quest is done. What do you want? Grain and fruit. Okay, we can get grain and fruit. We can pick up meat up over here. Belize, what happened to you? Didn't you, you used to produce more, didn't you? Damn. What happened? Ha I was pretty sure. I'm gonna need to check uh, the previous episodes and see what's going on. Insufficient living space at Port Royal. Cool. That is a quote unquote good problem to have. That means people want to live here probably. Maybe. 34k. Alright, let's see if we can make that money. Let's see if we can make that money. So you want meat. And you want grain and fruit. Grain and fruit. How much grain? 42 grain, 49 fruit. 42 grain. Okay. Maybe I'm better off going up over here to Evangelista. Where can we get fruit from nearby? Up over here, right? Tortuga. Anywhere closer? Not that I know of, no. Alright, so up at Tortuga we'll get some fruit. Up at Tortuga, pick up some fruit, drop off some sugar, make whatever we make. Get some grain from Evangelista. We'll try and accomplish that mission. In fact, let's go ahead and accept it before it's too late. By May 21. Ooh, okay. And let's take on Trinidad's task as well. By May 18th. Oof, okay. Rough. Over at Tortuga. Go ahead and buy... 
They don't have enough fruit. Great. Oh no, I don't have enough space. Okay. Drop off a bunch of the sugar. Sure. Pick up 50 fruit. Great, right, good stuff. Yep. All the way over. Dump some sugar at uh, Evangelista. Pick up their grain. We can accomplish this task down here very quickly. And then bring the meat back up to Trinidad. I think we're good. I think we've got time. Getting the, the scale of time right is still... Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Why am I selling fruit here? I mean to sell my sugar. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Get the grain. Let's head on over. Valladolid, I believe is how that's said. Probably butchering that. <laughs> and over here, make that pretty penny. This should be a good bit of money, I imagine. Nice. And, oh my god. Should have brought more fruit. Beautiful. Should have brought much more fruit. All good, though. Up over here, let's pick up some meat. Again, I should have picked some stuff up to drop off at Civi and whatnot. Cotton, maybe, over here. Good sell. Pick up some cotton. Pick up some beer. Yeah, cotton and beer. Not too much, but a little bit. Until the price goes up. Yeah, there we go. I'm willing to pay 108. Cotton as well. I'm willing to pay 64. Sure. Hopefully we can dump it all. Because we do have to pick up 100 meat. Yeah. 100 meat. Cotton. Amazing. And the beer. Please, baby. Ah. All right, not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Let's go up to 50 units over here. Pick up the 100 units of meat we need. There we go. Oof, that was expensive. But we should be able to make that money back. All the way up to Trinidad. Make that money back. And again, we do have building permits Time up over here. Come. We are at war with France. Revise your trade routes. Well, we're very fortunate that we don't have to worry about war with France. It is pretty distant, but they might venture down from the Florida Keys and cause us some trouble over here. So we'll we'll keep that in mind, obviously. Visit me again. All right, buddy. He's so demanding. Always wanting my attention. Beer. Nice. Make some money there. And meat. Beautiful. Wow. That was lucrative. That was lucrative. Get you back on this route. Now over here, we can go ahead and establish. See, so here's what I'm thinking. These houses right now, they can only hold 80 citizens because they do not have a tavern nearby, whereas these ones can hold up to 240. So an immediate bump by putting a tavern down. Let's go ahead and construct a tavern Put it up over here. These guys won't get service. But nobody wants to live here. Ooh, actually. Hang on a second. <gasps> no way. Did they? There used to be fields here. They closed down their business. They closed down their business completely. With that new sugar cultivation of ours, I figured they, they, they probably figured there's no point being here anymore. We've just driven them off. Wow, okay. Well, as you can see, that has directly impacted the lay of the land um, and the layout of the city. It's opened up a lot more residential spots. That changes That changes everything. Okay. Wow, I guess the, the sale price dropped so much that it was irrelevant and they just closed their business down. Like, how, how dope is that, right? <laughs> okay, we can put this tavern down over here. That gives us a good radius. Yeah, yeah. This will be a blank spot, unfortunately. So how about... Yeah, sure. Why don't, why don't we put you down over here? Put the tavern going over here. Pretty expensive, but I think probably worth it. Ten days until complete. And that should help us with this. This risk of plague, though, worries me still. Maybe some more markets or something could, could help us out. It does worry me, I'm not going to lie. Where is our beautiful ship? Headed to Tortuga right now from Trinidad. Well, don't don't go to Tortuga until you have sugar. I see what you're doing. I don't want you to do that. Don't don't go around empty-handed like that. Pick up all the cheap sugar. Can't afford it. Fine. Pick up most of the cheap sugar. I'm glad I did that. I'm pretty sure I'm glad I did that. Let's find out. Let's find out. 
All right, good stuff. I mean, again, looking at the the number alone seems terrifying, but the reality is we've also um, good stuff. We've also built Port Royal up so much. You see that second pip over here? I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but that is a a, a population marker. Every thousand is another pip. Uh, and as the city gets bigger and bigger, it starts demanding more of the higher tier products to stay satisfied. So, you know, Port Royal is up and coming. And let's not forget, we also got the building permit over at Trinidad, which means we were able to um, take over their rum production over there. And eventually, again, like if we take over Trinidad's rum production and we take over Isabella's rum production and not just take over, but take over and demolish. And we become the only place people can buy rum in the entire region. Right? That's that's the dream. We're actually making okay progress on that front. Hopefully we're going to get some good sales going over here. A little bit in the red. Makes me a little uncomfortable. Got to find somewhere to dump a bunch of sugar and we'll be okay, I think. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Again, the purchase obviously dropped that price a bit. I got a little nervous there, I'm not going to lie. Good stuff, good stuff. Now we're going to loop back around. I want to see how much money we make when this route ends. Again, it's been consistently profitable, so I'm not too worried about it. The only thing I'm worried about is the uh, the floor we have on purchases. And that's where a warehouse isn't a bad idea either. If we end up in the red, we can always pick things up from our own warehouse, not having to buy it from the, uh, the, the town. That was just going to net us. An easy 10k. Beautiful. Beautiful. That is extremely comfortable. Very happy with how that's going. This risk of plague makes me less happy. Uh, but the look at that. The population is booming. 57 job seekers. We're going to have to get some more uh, rum distilleries placed shortly. We entirely ran these other guys out of business, out of town. That feels so cool. I'm, I'm so happy that happened. That's what I meant. Things are about to get a lot more aggressive and dirty. Uh, that's done over here. Trinidad, by sheer you know, providence, I suppose, I should say. Um, I now have a building permit over here, so we'll take a look at getting that uh, that rum distillery. 90k. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll drive that price down. We'll, we'll, we'll take over over there. And then Isabella over here. Uh, we need to really work on our fame over here. We need to work on our fame over here. It's been degrading and whatnot. And then we can take on Isabella as well. Where else, actually? Where? Oops. That's not what I meant. I meant um, I like towns. Where else is rum produced nearby nowhere down here over here down over here is us obviously trinidad wow we can have a yeah we can very quickly have a monopoly on english rum out of you know port royale party royale rum folks i hope you enjoyed this session i certainly did it, it, it's always so hard for me to i look over at the time and i'm like oh i've got i've gone over my hour it's so hard for me to stop because i get into a rhythm and it's just like yeah money's money's being made all right what's the next step so we're very close to having a full-on convoy uh and that'll that'll definitely i think happen next session uh gotta establish a few more businesses the way we're making money right now that won't take us too much time or effort at all uh rum production will go higher and higher as we establish more rum distilleries sugar production is through the roof so we're not gonna have to worry about that balance for a while i think um and yeah we'll hit that 3k get a shipyard get some more ships spread around and as we're doing that the reason why i'm not rushing the purchase of ships by the way is because we're we're doing pretty well for accomplishing our goals especially with trinidad being taken so uh so easily uh i shouldn't call it easily we did save someone's life for it right folks i hope you enjoyed this session if you did you know what to do let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. And again, if you find this game interesting, if you like what you see and you're interested in maybe learning more or picking the game up, you can use the link in the description down below. It is also the same link in the pinned comment down below. You can get involved in your own adventures with trade. Oh man, so much. So we're, we're you know what? We might have been morally bankrupt this entire session. We weren't financially bankrupt. And that's what matters <laughs> in business like this. You can be bankrupt, as long as it's morally and not financially. Folks, you had a good time? Let me know. Leave a like and a comment. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, cheers.